Right. Because a lot of the early games didn't. Well, a lot of TVs couldn't handle the. The. Uh, I mean, again, to to bring up the Atari comparison, I mean, they just had the the big numbers at the top. And right. I don't even think the Odyssey Two could count to hundred because of the. Did it drop out of school? No, I mean the the scoring like it couldn't go up by it. Like say you score here, you like get four points or so many points for each one. Yeah. Like a lot of them, a lot of the early ones were just one, two. Okay, well we got thirty points. Woohoo! Whole different ball game when you have. How like, many quarters do you think that you spent on? Uh, spent on the last game. Well, over the years, yeah. God. I don't even want to know. Cause I re I can remember spending ten dollars one day one weekend on a Galaxy machine. Well, I mean, and that's just on the machine, and God forbid if I do it at like a Dave and Buster's or something where I have it on a card. Dear Lord. It's like, oh well, uh, what whatever they had on there uh, <laughs> that came with my meal, I uh, I blew that. <laughs> I'm gonna put five it's more bucks now. on here. I just put a twenty on there. <laughs> what the wife doesn't know won't hurt her. It's in cash. <laughs> okay, well that was a look at Galactic Invasion. Let's take another. I'm gonna take another crack at that. At what? Uh, my game ended. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. So, we just do another one. One. We'll do eight bases. Uh, one player. Yeah, it, the you could so one of the things that I really like about this mm. system. You can select how many lives you get. Right. You can just keep playing as long as you want. Dear Lord, I'm gonna walk in here one day and it'll say like 99. Well, as you can see though, <coughs> the difficulty hopped up. Yeah. Like they weren't shooting at me before. Now they're always shooting at me. As soon as they come down, shoot at me. Bam. <laughs> I might want to point out that these are multi-animated sprites. Yes, because you could see the... They twist, they turn, they're moving. It's not just the Atari um, moving across the screen. They're also moving their legs or whatever and shooting and twisting and turning. And that I think that was a breakthrough, too, was the... I don't know any of any other Space Invaders type of um, game that actually does the multi movement. Well, and a lot of that you didn't get um, in television. You know, introduced a lot of colors, but they didn't get the arcade ports. Right. You didn't really see the full color arcade ports of these games until the, like the fifty two hundred came out, which then you couldn't play them. The right. Controller <laughs> fucking blue. <laughs> You can it see them, pretty, but you can't but play them. <laughs> People want to see color. Okay. People want to play games. No can do there. So Sorry, one or the other. One or the other. Can't do both. What about sound? Can people do sound? If people want sound, they can go to Coleco. <laughs> <coughs> and that Atari is probably why you failed. Wait a minute. No, it's not. Well, there was E.T. and the Pac-Man oh, cartridge Jesus. and, uh, well, all kinds of different reasons. <laughs> I think you've already went into that, though. We have. I mean, I think there's like a 10-hour long console. <laughs> Bel believe me, we've covered, you know, that aspect of it, but, you know, that, just kind of bringing it back around. You right. Know? Cause, but you know, I think that most of the consoles during that era tried so hard to emulate each other and all they had for a basis was Atari and Atari did it so so wrong. Everything. 
There we go. <laughs> Back to our original settings here. Right. So I'm not getting shot by everything in the universe. No, they just come attack you, not freaking not. <laughs> I am sucking it up right at the moment. <laughs> now, the number on this cartridge says 2011. Yeah, the numbering system we talked about earlier. Yeah. I just wanted to point that out there, because it does say the, the official name game is 2011 Galactic Invasion. Right. Sometimes it... Well, there are cartridges out... Ow. Well, hell. Um... <laughs> There are some car there are some cartridges out there that say Galactic Invasion. Well, and there's ones when you pop them in, they say ga uh, Galaxian, and that's a big no no. Sorry, he's got the license. But I think that was a good look at Galaxian Invasion. Right. <laughs> you want to move on to Pirates, Jace? Yep, time to move on to the next title. Okay, we'll be right back. And we are back. We are going to be taking a look now at Pirate's Chase, I think. Yes, Pirate's Chase. So, uh, let's pop that in there. I can't find my notes. The reset button? Reset button. There we go. There's Pirate's Chase. So, Pirate's Chase came to us in 1981. It is a um, action skill series game, and um, there's not a lot of info about it. It's uh, five, just five, just five, just oh, five, not yeah. fifty-five, just five. It was ba made by Astrocade Inc. So, wow, that is loud. Turn down the just screen, a little bit. Row. Okay. Okay, so the... God um, damn it. <laughs> so the... God damn it! <laughs> the uh, point of this game is to keep away from the little skull, diamond, looky, X thing. Yeah, you're the crosshairs. Grab all the dots and as much treasure as you can. It's kind of pack banish without the maze. Yeah. It's fun. Oh, it's fun. It's very addictive. I think I sat and played this for a couple hours um, when we were doing run-throughs of each game. And Ray was like, okay, are we done? And I'm like, no. And I, he's like, are you done? Well, finally he told me what time it was, and I was like, crap, i got to go to bed. i got kids to get up in the morning. <laughs> and so then I, came, I got up at like 3 o'clock in the morning and only to come in here and find him playing the damn game. It's addictive! I know. So as you see, the thing gets us. We only have a few, like, three more lives left. And sometimes it speeds up, sometimes it slows down. Well, it wouldn't let me select 55 turns. Um, but it will... <laughs> Some games will let you do that. Yeah. It <laughs> will chase you around. Well, then, it, they change the point values as you get yeah. progressed further. Now we have to get the sword in the middle for King okay. Arthur. And we got it, so that netted us another 200 points. Each dot is worth two points. And I think the idea is they're chasing you around the sea. Yeah. But apparently this is like biblical times because the seas ran red with blood. And <laughs> too soon, Ray. Too soon. What? People aren't over that whole Black Plague thing, you know, like rats. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on, you got like seven more dots to go. I will get them. 